This is the new GB gas calculators available on iPhone. Uh, the first one that we're looking at here is the heat input calculator, which has a stopwatch so that we can record, we can stop, we can then input our readings. If it's a metric meter, don't forget the decimal point. So here we have 0 0.034, and after the two minutes, we have 0 0.045. When we hit the calculate button, it then instantly gives us our gas rate, our heat input if it's a gross value, or our heat input if it's a net value. If it's an old imperial meter, we insert the time in seconds it takes for one revolution. And when we hit calculate, again, it gives us the gas rate, heat input, gross and net. This section is the ventilator calculator. And you can see here we can have open fluid appliance. We put in our kilowattage. We then hit whether it's a net appliance or a gross appliance. So in this case we fit gross and it gives us the ventilation requirements for the situations that appliance might be in. If we hit net, it gives us the net for that situation. Back to the home screen, fluidless appliances, we put the length, the width and the height of the room. This will give us an overall volume of the room when we hit calculate and then it will tell us what size of ventilator we need for cooker, hob or similar, and what size event we would need for a single point water heater. Flueless gas fires, we really need to look at manufacturer's instructions. There are so many variations. Going on to multiple appliances, we can input sizes. Open fluid space heating, 100cm squared. Flueless space heating, 120cm squared. And any other appliance, largest of any other appliance, 26. So the vent that you need at the bottom is 120 centimetres squared. For vent size calculators, again we enter the width, the length and the height of each hole. And if there's only one set of holes and they're all the same size, we can only use one line. If there are more, we've got more lines to work with. When we hit calculate, you will see that we have a vent size of 81 centimetres squared. Down the bottom we also have a method for working out round hold appliances. So 23 holes. Here we have the purge volume calculator. Yeah, onto the purge, the purge volume calculator, calculator. we choose our we can meter choose from the which screen. type. This one is we then insert meters. the meter we length put in of our lengths of pipe. Don't worry about fitting. We have in the installation, we have in the installation pipe. So we have the 21 meters and 15 meter calculation. calculation. Five meters are 22. Once we hit calculate, it will then tell us the installation volume. When we press the calculate, the metric, it gives us the installation volume, volume and what it also type tells us we need to use at the bottom. And in, um, if metric we don't have any heater and we just want to work out the purge for a section of pipe, again, we can put in the installation. If it's Here over a certain amount, no as it will be in this, we're only working out the pipes. Right. Um, you will find that you will not be allowed and to do the purge volume. You will see here that this installation is too big. The installation the volume is too large for a domestic engineer to work We would on. need to be... For the pipe sizing calculator, a bit more complicated, very hard to go through in a small video. But uh, basically, for one appliance, two appliances, three appliances or four appliances, we insert the diameter of the pipe that we assume it's going to be. The length in metres, and the number of bends that are on that bit of pipe. Once we press calculate, it doesn't really give us a reasonable answer. We need to insert the gas rate of the appliance in meters cubed per hour. We're going to assume that this appliance is 3.2. When we press calculate now, you can see that I will have a 0.56 millibar drop across the pipework, which is less than one, which is perfectly acceptable. Having a look at the screen for the instructions, there's a nice little run through on the instructions there to try and help you out. All of these are available in iTunes very soon.